Good afternoon, YouTube. Today, I need to go steal the wife's Jeep from work. Right now, I've got the truck, so I actually have to go grab her Jeep. But today, we're doing a new upgrade that's actually going to help us a little bit more with our visual effects and everything. So today, I'm going to take out all the plastic interior that you all see. And I'm thinking this will help more of everyone that wants to do it themselves because you see it the whole time you're driving it. You stare at it. So we're going to get rid of that crappy gray plastic look, and we're going to go ahead and paint it white today to match the rest of the Jeep. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the truck and go get the Jeep. All right guys, just one more thing I forgot to mention a second ago is at the end of the video, we will go ahead and be revealing all the big, huge upgrades that we just done to the Jeep. And if you all would like to throw a comment down below on your opinions, thinking we're going in the right direction, just let us know guys. As you can see guys, I have been successful still in my wife's vehicle while she's at work. Really hate to leave the truck, but Time to surprise her with life once again, guys. All right, guys, now that we're here back at the house, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm using to paint it. I'm sure there's 20 other different ways you can paint it. If you have any better suggestions, go ahead and throw it down in the comments below for other people watching the video. But what I'm using, just your Rust-Oleum paint and primer and one, a clear coat, I am gonna scuff it up just a little bit, just so it'll stick a little better. Your alcohol for cleaning it, and some shop towels to wipe off that. All right guys, for all these right here, it's extremely simple. And no, the doors are not on the Jeep, so they are up against the wall. It's not ran for about two weeks, so we have left them out. Then all it actually does is just pop out. It's actually held in. Well, these are just for show, but you can see it just pops right in and out. So that's how easy it is to take out the door trim. All right, guys, for the rest of the interior, silver here. I'm also going to go ahead and pop this out and paint it as well. Then you got your steering wheel. And then this right here, that's just like the doors. But as of right now, we'll go ahead and jump over to the steering wheel since that's what most people hate to do. So we'll jump into it right now. You're going to start with taking out your two bolts. This bolt right here. Swing over to this side. You'll be taking out this bolt right here. All right, after disconnecting those two bolts, you're gonna pull out the center, where you'll have to disconnect your wires. After disconnecting, you'll be undoing your four screws here. Now that all four of these are removed, which is a T20 star bit, just so you know. Lastly, just to pop it out the rest of the way, you just need to remove the screws back here. Now that you've taken this off, which there's two release tabs in the bottom of it, all you have to do is disconnect the wires in the back of it, and then it'll be off. And now, just to be able to paint it without having to worry about any of the switches, you have to take out these three star screws on both sides. And then you're ready to paint. All right, guys, for your newer JK models, I know the tweeters are a little bit different, but all you have to do, get your screwdriver, pop it up, work your way around, and there's that to take off so you can paint that. All right guys, now for taking out the vent, all you need is your flathead screwdriver. You'll have to turn this slightly over to where there'll be a spot right here. Go in as vertically as you can. Come in, pop it up, twist, and there you go. That's how easy it is to take out the vents. And then you just have to take off the clips, clean it off, and then you can start your painting. Alright guys, here's the finished product. Got everything back in. And now I'll go ahead and jump over to the Jeep so you all can... Right guys, so just reason saw it, the exact opposite of how you took it all out. And here is the final product of a do-it-yourself. I think it all looks a lot better to go with the black and white theme that we've got going on.
the new upgrades we have stock bumper had to go guys very disappointing so the only thing that still shows it's a hard rock is the hood and front bumper and sorry for the messy garage guys but if you watched the vlogs from before we are now sitting on 37 inch tires have the newly painted interior and then finally we've got the spare tire on the back we went with smitty built the XRC combination we've got the gas cans for off-roading and everything solid bumper so there you go guys that is the brand new addition and we do have one or two more showing up here soon but those will have to wait for a little bit because we did have to send some parts back due to having a 2015 or newer the part number is different for the newer ones so that should give you guys a really good hint on what we're actually adding to it next all right guys that's the how-to on that i hope it really helps you guys out some and i hope you all are ready for the next vlog i should be shooting just the next day or two but if you did like it please give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and the great thing is just by me shooting this vlog i already got another jeep guy to want to go ahead and do the same thing so now he's doing the exact same thing so one jeep gets worked on another one shows up so we can continue to work on another but guys i enjoyed shooting the video i hope you guys enjoyed it y'all have a great day